When using Vapor, a variety of metrics is available so you never lose sight of your project's health. In addition, you can set up alarms and get notified so you don't miss a thing. Now, metrics are available across environments, databases, caches and queues. Let's get started by seeing environment metrics. And for that, we just need to click on the project name, on the environment and then on the metrics tab. Then, if you scroll all the way down, you can see multiple metrics concerning our Lambda functions. As example, I can see the number of HTTP requests, the average duration per HTTP request, and the estimated cost per Lambda function. In addition, if you keep scrolling, you can see all that same information, but over the selected period of time. And you may adjust the selected period of time by changing from last 24 hours to something else. Now, you might want to set up an alarm to get notified when something unusual happens. But first, you need to add a notification method and I'm going to add one with my own name. Then, you can get back into this environment metrics and now we can configure an alarm. You may set up an alarm for multiple different reasons, but for today's example, I want to be notified when I get more than 10 requests in the last minute. So normally, when I eat save and then I visit my browser more than 10 times, which I'm going to do right now, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Normally, after all those refreshes, I should get an email on my mailbox saying that I got more than 10 requests on the last minute. And sure enough, we got an email saying that more than 10 HTTP requests per minute were made on the staging environment of my application. Now, as you can see, metrics and alarms are a great way to monitor your application. And of course, besides environment metrics, you may also want to keep an eye on metrics associated with your resources such as databases. And for that, you just need to click on the database card and then when you scroll all the way down, you can see equally all different metrics concerning your database. Now, when analyzing metrics of resources that do not scale, such as fixed size databases, these metrics are a great way to see if your resource need to scale. An example is the average CPU utilization. If this value is near 100%, probably is the right time to hit the button scale and then change the server specs. And of course, the same goes with cache resources. When checking the metrics associated with your cache, if, for example, the CPU utilization is near 100%, it's probably the right time to click on the button scale and then increase the number of nodes. Next, besides your environments, caches and databases, you may also want to keep an eye on your queue jobs. But for that, you will need to use the package Vapor UI. Installing the package Vapor UI should not be a problem for you because we have done it on the logs episode. Once you are on the Vapor UI package dashboard, the only thing you need to do is click on metrics to see multiple metrics about queue jobs. Some examples are the number of processor jobs, failure jobs or pending jobs on the queue. Now, queues do scale automatically on Vapor, so the only thing you really need to keep an eye on these metrics is really the number of failure jobs in the past hour. Remember, under the Failed Jobs tab you can easily understand the reason why a job has failed and you can equally retry or forget a job if you want to. And that's it about metrics, monitoring and alarms on Vapor.